Well hello everyone and welcome back to another Snowy Viking Village tutorial. We're back and we're ready to get our hands dirty once again as today I'm going to show you how to build a Viking storage room. That's right guys, it's been a little while since our last Viking tutorial but thank you to everyone who's been waiting patiently. You guys are all amazing. In the last episode we built a really cool Viking stable. Thank you for all the positive feedback on that video. But today I thought our Vikings might need somewhere to store all their goods coming in through the little dock. So we're going to build ourselves a storage house by, down by the dock to store all all of our fish, tools and materials but first I thought I'd need to flesh the village out a little bit more because it's looking a little bit small so we'll add a couple of more Viking houses here and there. So I thought we could maybe add a couple of simple structures keeping in with the style that we've been going with. Over here just by the main longhouse we're just going to add a little house with a small pig pen next to it just so the village has another source of food and we have another house for our Vikings to fill. Next, over on this hill near the dock, we're going to add another little house, pretty much identical to the previous one, nothing we haven't done before. I really wanted to add some builds on different levels of the village just to give it a bit more interest and uh, I think this adds another dimension to the place as well. Then finally we can add a little path using path blocks and diorite blocks which actually was a suggestion made by someone watching a video to make it look like dirty walked on snow and I think it looks so good. Thank you so much for that uh, suggestion. So next let's give you a quick preview of the storage house. So for this build I thought we'd stray away from the triangular look we've gone for with the rest of the village. I've gone for a more boxy look which I think looks great. We're going to go for an open front for easy access to supplies and on the roof we've gone for a similar look to the rest of the builds but with a slightly less fancy viking flare on the tips of the roof. So let's have a look at what materials we'll need to build our storage room. So to build this we're going to need to gather some stripped dark oak stripped spruce, some spruce planks and stairs, some dark oak stairs and slabs, some barrels, some spruce trapdoors, some chests, dark oak fences, chains, lanterns and some stone buttons. So let's crack on with the build. For this build we're going to need a 13 by 5 block area so clear out plenty of space. So first of all we're going to place a barrel on each corner of our template and add another barrel four blocks inward of each corner making a total of eight barrels placed. Next we're going to grab our strip dark oak logs and we're going to pop four on top of each barrel to create eight five block high columns to form that main structure of the storage house. Now we're going to join all the columns up with some more stripped dark oak by joining all the top blocks together and then adding some in the middle to join the centre together like so. On the rear side of the build we're going to grab some spruce planks and fill in the back wall three blocks high but also replacing some of the spruce planks with some stripped spruce logs and stairs to add a bit of texture. Then in the gaps above the wall we're going to place 9 dark oak fences. Then grab some more dark oak fences and fill in each of the side walls with fences knocking out a couple of them afterwards to make it look like it's been battered and worn and as if it's been in use for a few years. Now back around the front of the build we're going to add a row of three dark oak fences across the top of each of the three doorways and then we're going to add two upside down spruce stairs in each doorway too. Finished off with a spruce trap door in the middle to form a sort of archway. Lovely. Moving up to the roof now we're going to use even more dark oak fences and add a row of three in the centre of each crossbeam all the way down the length of the build like so using a total of 12 fences all together. Now we're going to grab some stripped dark oak again and we're going to place 17 blocks in a long beam down the length of the build on top of the fences we've just placed. Make sure that there are two stripped dark oak logs popping out of each end of the build. 
Now for the roof itself. We're going to start by adding a row of 15 dark oak stairs across the side of the build and then repeat this twice more above it to reach the long central beam we've just placed. Then once you've done that, pop another two upside down stairs under the overlap of each end of the build to give it that nice neat finish. Then you guessed it, just do the exact same thing on the rear side of the build as well to form the roof. Next, we're going to add two dark oak stairs, one on each end of the roof like so, then join them up with some dark oak slabs, and add another one on top of every other slab to form that crenellated look that we've used in the other builds. Finally, for that viking flare, add an upside down stair, and a right way up stair on the top of that on each end of the roof like shown. Beautiful. On the front of the build we're now going to place a chain hanging in front of each column like so and then add a lovely warm flickering lantern on the end of each one to illuminate the place up a bit. Next using some path blocks, gravel and dirt we're going to texture up the surface at the front of the storage room and then we can start by adding the all important chests. You can place as many chests as you need if you're using this in survival or if you're just using it for decoration you can place a mixture of barrels, campfires to look like uh, firewood and chests to make it look like a bit more authentic. Finally, around the back of the storage building, we're going to be adding a few bushes here and there using some leaf blocks just to make it blend into the environment a little bit more and I think that just finishes it off nicely. And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, our Viking storage room is complete. I'm pretty pleased with it and I hope you enjoy watching me build it. Our Viking village is really starting to look good now, it's got a bit more meat on its bones, however I think there is plenty more we need to do. I'd love to build a stave church on the hill overlooking the village and we need to build some more of the amazing ideas that you guys have suggested. Like a wolf kennel, a meadery where the Vikings can get drunk and maybe a shipbuilding area too. If you've been following along with them, uh, then, then don't forget to send me your screenshots of your builds on Twitter. I love seeing those. Thank you so much for all your suggestions. Keep them coming in and thank you for your continued support too. If you want to see more videos like this, then press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and that's all we've got time for today. So until next time, guys. Thank you very much and tatty bye.